Greetings. In our last lecture, we understood the significance and influence of Vedic mathematics in this modern era. Jagat Guru Swami Sri Bharati Krishna Tirthaji Maharaj, he discovered 16 mathematical formulae and 13 sub formulae. Using these 16 sutras and 13 upasutras, we can solve any level of mathematical question using Vedic mathematics. Yeah, you can solve everything in Vedic mathematics, starting from arithmetic to say algebra, algebra to geometry, geometry to say trigonometry, trigonometry to conics, conics to calculus, everything you can solve in Vedic mathematics with God's speed. In terms of speed and accuracy, modern mathematics cannot stand in front of Vedic mathematics because modern mathematics got saturated. There are no further techniques available to tackle situations that easily. And also we appreciated this great example, one of the finest examples we have, like this kind of examples we have infinite number in Vedic mathematics. In no time we can get multiplication answer like this. Yeah, anyways, so anyways we also, uh, we also observed uh, those 16 mathematical formulae both in Sanskrit and in English and also those uh, 13 sub formulae or Upasutras. Yeah. So in this lecture what we do and of course we will try to unlock, we will try to investigate each and every sutra in detail, meticulous details we will investigate in this course, in this Vedic mathematics course on this great platform, this YouTube channel. Okay. So in this lecture, in this lecture we will try to we will uh, try to predict a person's date of birth yeah one of the finest magics of uh, Vedic mathematics you can just predict a person's date of birth just like that like this we have many more techniques available see uh, to predict a person's date of birth we require simply six steps okay simply we have to undergo these uh, six steps to get answer out of it okay so you see uh, you know i just want to say one thing at this juncture you will definitely change your attitude towards mathematics in due course slowly in due course you will change the attitude towards mathematics for sure you will definitely fall in love with mathematics yeah there are no average students or below average students everybody is equally talented and equally they have intelligence the only thing is we have to realize nothing else you realize yourself you can do wonders in coming future okay so past is past whatever has happened has happened just set away all your distractions sit calm stay calm and just listen to these lectures and acquire knowledge whatever you want that's it Okay, again coming back to this, uh, coming back to this lecture, you know with this technique you can predict the date of birth of any number of people simultaneously, any number. You can try this with your family members, friends, relatives, colleagues, so on, with anyone, doesn't matter, you can try it just like that. And you have six steps like this, ask the people or ask your friends or friend ask the people to take the number of the month in which they were born if they were if they were born in the month of jan just take number one Feb, february means two march three so on december means 12. step number two you have to ask them to double the number see the number of the month they will never tell you out they will keep in their mind so now they will perform some mental calculations end of the day they will tell that answer to you and from that answer you will tell exactly their date of birth yeah that technique see right after this lecture you can try you can just try with your friends your family members whoever you want just play with mathematics i am telling you no slowly or eventually things will work out you will fall in love with mathematics you can trust me okay next you have to ask them to double the number month number you have to double it and step number three is you have to add five to it 
to step number two whatever we get in step number two just add five to it step number four is multiply this step number three by five step number five is put a zero behind the answer put a zero behind the answer means see something like this for example say in step number four in step number four say we obtain some answer like some number uh, with digits three in numbers x y z now to this number x y z just append zero in this unit's place x y z zero like this here okay now end of the day you have to add their date of birth add their date of birth okay for example somebody somebody born somebody was born on say third may third may now x y z zero whatever we obtained in step number five x y z zero plus date of birth not month or year just date add three if somebody was born on say fifth january now just add five to x y z zero to x y z zero just add five just very simple right very simple so now after after the steps are over after all these steps are over ask them to tell you the final answer now by listening to their final answer you can predict their date of birth in no time maximum you will take one second to give their answer to just tell their uh, date of birth okay let me take just give me two seconds let me take the slide another slide sorry okay now how do we do this okay say your friend say your friend was born say on 29th august assume so say your friend was born on this date 29th and in the month of august okay now what is step number one you have to take month number right take month number so what is month number now as it is august month number is eight okay and what is step number two so whatever you we get whatever we have in step number one just double it so two eights are 16 step number two so step number two is doubling step number one so we obtain now 16 now step number three so what is step number three we have to add five so 16 plus five is 21 and what is step number four step number four is multiply step number three by five okay so we have in step number 3 we obtain 21 so multiplying by 5 so what is 21 times 5 it is 105 okay and step number 5 we have to add 0 behind the number obtained in step number 4 so in step number 4 we obtained 105 105 so now add 0 yeah upon 0 on this unit's place 1050 you have now now last step is what add their date of birth add their date of date not month and year just date okay now what date is you have here 29 right so add so 1050 plus 29 so now what do you have so you have 1079 now any guesses now what is the secret behind this now how do we get this answer so once you have this now your friend is going to tell you this answer yeah if he was born if he was born i mean if he was born on this date 29th august then he will end of the day he will tell you this answer 1079 now from this answer now we will apply our secret yeah after having this answer let me take just give me two seconds i'll take another color okay i am ready with my with my another color okay sorry 
Okay, now it's my turn. Now I will tell you his date of birth. See from this. Now secret is this. Okay. Now you can exercise this beautiful secret. Secret is from this obtained number one zero seven nine. Okay, you segregate this. You have to take last two digits always. Always take last two digits and subtract fifty from it. Okay, last two digits we have seventy nine. Subtract fifty from it. Now what do we get? Twenty nine. See the date we obtain now twenty nine. And now from this, let me take another color. Let me take another. Okay, I am ready with blue. So let me subtract from the first two digits. This could be single digit or two. Okay, but in this case, always we must take two digits here. So as of now we have two digits in the left hand side as well. So anyways, whatever you have, subtract two. You subtract two from ten. Now what do we have? Eight. You see? Now whatever you have in the left hand side, this is month. So this is month, and this right hand side quantity is what date? See? Very simple, right? So very simple. That means so and so candidate was born on twenty ninth August. The leftmost is month and rightmost is date. Okay. So how can we remember this? For example, for example, say uh, somebody was born on fifth May. If somebody was born on fifth May, you get here five and three. Then confusion, right? Then whether it is month three or month five. confusion right so remember this one monday do you remember monday okay somavar monday now see uh, in this mvn take this mvn and from this here da monday that means here mvn means think like month and day means the date so you will never forget right so you go in this order you will never forget for all problems use this simple trick you can do anything now now on similar lines on similar lines if somebody if somebody uh, say told us total if somebody gave this total say for example 1481 if somebody gave this total to us now you must tell their date of birth from this now what you do end of the day simply segregate this subtract 50 from last four digits so what you get now 31 so he was born on some i mean some month but on 31st right and now if you want to know the month subtract 2 from this 14 this is 12 so what is 12 now december right december that means this fellow was born on 31st december yeah so very simple right so maybe uh, maybe uh, sometime in your uh, schooling maybe sometime in your schooling time you might have heard about these things but whatever you have heard in in your schooling time uh, that was taken out from this vedic mathematics okay so see like this kind of techniques we have many more in vedic mathematics and after this after this we will discuss one more in our upcoming lecture a uh, one more technique we have many more techniques but we will discuss two for now then we will start working out with uh, beautiful multiplications complex multiplications using our vedic mathematics techniques we have certain patterns if we remember those patterns we can multiply any number just like that okay so please share your thoughts in our comment section about uh, this vedic mathematics Uh, as i told you already uh, the communication must be always we have to maintain two way communication not one way communication so we have to achieve a full duplex communication somehow okay so please subscribe and please do watch until the end before you watch this lectures set away all your distractions i am telling you this again and again set away all your distractions you may be so busy yeah but please 
try to focus because Vedic mathematics will make your brain very very sharp and you feel very confident you will uh, you can definitely achieve high confidence levels you can trust me okay so just continue see nature is supporting uh, with his signals now you can trust me just continue watching lectures one after the other yeah we have series of these lectures you can keep on watch and enjoy your beautiful days Thank you.